Hello and welcome to another series of Books AVC, powered by OpenBusinessCouncil.org and CitiesAVC.com. Hello, books, and I have to start with this quote, and books make me a better person. And as well, they make me more relaxed, they make me learn, they make me feel better in this kind of digital, um, overwhelming world we live today. And I like paper books. I love digital books and I love ebooks and I love audiobooks. I actually use a lot of audiobooks as we speak. And uh, especially I love books that all kinds of books, as you know, if you've been in this series. But of course, I love books as well about management, about strategy. So today I'm going to talk precisely about the book that was recently launched. Here it is. And this is a book that I want to highlight a bit. Um, so this is the book Certain Uncertainty, Leading with Agility and Resilience in an Unpredictable World. It's published by Wiley in partnership with Thinkers50. And the co-founder and the author of the book, and especially the curator of the book, because this is a book with 30 authors, is Des Dearlove, that is the co-founder of Thinkers50. So we can see in my channel, there's an interview with him. So Fingers 50 is one of the most, uh, uh, I would say, um, famous and, and as well uh, important ranking of management, consulting and managing uh, business authors in the world that has their own rankings and an entire uh, trajectory of almost 24 years where they actually been highlighting the best authors in terms of business and uh, leadership in the world. So Certain Uncertainty is a fantastic book that is, uh, I would say, a must read precisely because it comprehends 40 authors that go through a lot of different topics, but as well because we are in moments of uncertainty where we're trying to get certainty. So it's a paradox, and especially when we have a lot of changes and a lot of velocity like our times um in the the post covid right now with ai going so crazy is are we as leaders and everyone is a leader it might be a leader of yourself or a leader of business but you have to be a leader and especially leader of your thoughts is how we can actually especially for business leaders around the world uh the messaging is trying to control what can be controlled and how can we learn to respond effectively and adapt quickly to the disruptions and transformation changes that are appearing ever more frequently and suddenly. And uh, Des Dear Love offers advice and reflections from dozens of today leading voices in business and leadership and highlights ways from structure your business for maximum resilience and agility and navigate through uncertainty. And as well, the book uh, is a fantastic level uh, that highlights a lot of different uh, things. So we have, uh, um, I'll just go through some of the topics because there's a lot of authors within the book. Future Thinking, Resilience, Net Positive Leadership by Andrea Whiston. Leading Like a Futurist by Lisa K. Solomon. And uh, the forward is by Amy Edmondson, uh, which is as well a, girl, a very high profile leader. And then we have Leading from the Future, Not the Past, Terence Movey. Towards the Certainty Ability, Leading Self and Others to Possibility Behind the Unknown, Nathan Furr and Suzanne Armand Furr. Transformation Leadership, Leading with the Head and Heart, the Modern Leader Our World Needs Today, by Kirsten Ferguson. The Nine Derails of Strategy, by Ben Brink. And... Uh, Radical Empathy, How to Craft Effective Communications About Chance, Townsend Webster, Leading Sustainability Transitions by Matt Gitson, Gitsham, and Navigating Paradoxes, Wendy K. Smith and Marianne W. Lewis, The Why, What, and How of Leadership by Paul R. Carlyle. Then the third section of the book is about organizational culture, developing a curious culture at work. Diane Hamilton, is your company alive? Maren Gull, staying in the show in the extraordinary times. Maren Gull, 
staying in the known in extraordinary times, Magia uh, Korica, I'm sorry. And uh, Is Your Company Alive by Maren Gull. I mentioned the names wrong. And Stop Quite Quitting Your Life by Ori Braffman and Ron Braffman. And uh, Policy, The Path to Prevent Burnout by Jennifer Moss. Then the fourth part is about Voices of Difference. By starts by Voices of Difference at Work by Megan Reitz. Want More Female Leaders, Develop Leadership When It Matters Most, Julie Carrier. Servant Leadership, Cooperative Advance and Social Sustainability, Leon Ciprieto and Simone T.A. Phillips. And Leaders Talk Less and Speak Last, Madhub Taylor Pierce. Then the point, the, the section five, Talent Magnets. Deciding whom to promote, beware of div debt, justice at work. And the first one is by Gorek Nengi. Second, justice at work by David Bledel. And personal branding in a creator economy, KD Wright. The need for high achievers in the area of uncertainty by Ruth Gottian. And then the, the fifth and last chapter um, or section, relationships at work, that is Curve Benders, Quality versus Quantity of Strategic Relationships in the Future of Work by David Noor, then Navigating Ambivalence in Our Professional Relationships, Amy Gallo. And last, Our Leaders Can Help Employees Face Uncertainty by Ben Witter. I really want to go for all the authors because all of these authors are global professors in top business universities and leaders in big organizations, corporations that work with some of the top Fortune 500 different organizations. But what I love about this book is that it's real, there's a lot of uh, um, knowledge, wisdom, but as well a lot of practical things that everyone can look. Um, I'll just read a bit of a quote from the introduction by Amy C. Edmondson, that is as well a very high profile personality in the industry, um, but as well one of the top um, thought leaders in business management worldwide. It's natural to be anxious about the challenge that lie ahead but no leader has all the answers. So long as leaders actively invite others into so help solve the problems their organizations face, a path forwards will be found. Navigating uncertainty requires input from diverse sources. Making this happen starts with leaders who are open-minded and transparent, prepared to acknowledge that they don't have all the answers and willing to listen to and work with others. Even when we fully recognize the intellectual merits of these statements, it can be emotionally challenging to put them into practice. Yet, we still need to act, moving ahead with purpose rather than being paralyzed by indecision. The key is to remain open to changing circumstances and willing to pivot at short notice, motivated by new ideas and possibilities. This is key. And um, I want to as well read a bit of uh, Des' uh, introduction that is very important for what is happening right now. To be able to respond better to unforeseen events, we need to build resilience and agility into our lives, including the way business operates. Change is now a constant. Disruption is to be expected and requires an adaptable response. We can go back, we must go forward. So what to do the next generation of leaders need to know about living with certain uncertainty? That's the question we put to the select group of business thinkers who make up the Thinkers 50 radar with the community. This book is their response, a curated collection of short essays addresses to the leaders of the present and future to help them not only to survive, but also to thrive in these uncertain times. We hope that the advice and fresh thinking they contain will help you, the leaders of tomorrow on your journey. But this is from the introduction. As you see, this is some of the top thinkers worldwide. I wanna just, because uh, I love about the future, and the end of the day, if you are in business, you need to think pre present and future and not be stuck on the past. So I'll just go for the chapter about the future which I think it's really important for people listening to us because uh, in the end of the day is how we look at future thinking. 
So I'm going to read a bit of an excerpt from the chapter Towards Uncertainty Ability, Leading Self and Others to Possibility Behind the Unknown. So this is actually something that I really like to understand both as a leader and as well as a leader of my own mind, how we can work on this. So Leading Self and Others to Possibility Behind the Unknown, Nathan Furr and Suzanne Armand Furr. So I'm going to be reading uh, about uh, the last part of this chapter. That is about how we deal with these different things. And uh, the last part is about sustaining. And the, the chapter is divided in different areas, but I will work on this. And certain certainty almost always unfolds differently than we thought. And sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. Whether you call it failure or learning, what doesn't work is an example of a reframe made for moments when setbacks and obstacles wait heavily on you. Sustaining tools are fantastic for getting you back on the horse, and they fall into these three categories. Emotional hygiene, consistent and skillful care of our emotional bodies, reality check, using our reasoning minds to cut through the gloom of negative and or naive stories with as little bias and anxiety as possible, and third, magic. The sudden leaps of insight, serendipitous encounters, the fortuitous events that we can take credit for, but we can put ourselves in situations where they are more likely to occur. This is beautiful, and I'll read a bit more. Um, so continuing on this, one interesting reality check tool teaches us to see our competitors as collaborators rather than fear their ability to overtake us. View from the land, land, that lens, competitors can be reframed as the best people who will inspire us to do our best work. And I'll stop here. So it's a beautiful book, uh, very powerful, a lot of great ideas. Please read it. Please engage. And uh, probably just as a last note is um, how we can actually look at ourselves as leaders and we can navigate the different uncertainty of our days. So definitely this is a great book that I would suggest that everyone reads if you can get it, if not at least find information about it. Because one of the things about certain uncertainty, the title of the book, is that all of us as humans go through this. And especially our emotional intelligence or our fears, our insecurities. And uh, at the moment, we are in a time of very big uncertainty, especially with everything happening in politics, geopolitics, technology. But at the same time, we have fantastic things. Is how we balance all this ambivalence of different things. And how we can actually create, especially in our businesses, how we can actually stay in the known, how we can actually stay in alive, even in business, but at the same time thrive. Because there's a lot of opportunities if we know how to look beyond the problems that we face, behind the all the challenges that everyone faces, especially with technology, with uh, the overwhelming complexity of our worlds, with our personal business lives. And as well, we can actually, or we can actually be better leaders. So, please have a look at this book. Uh, the book is really amazing, um, and it does a lot of knowledge, and uh, it's great for anyone that wants to be, that is a leader, but as well for someone that wants to be a leader, and uh, is an essential resource for executives, managers, board members, and entrepreneurs, and as well is a roadmap for inspiring startup people, business leaders, and students of business and management seeking a uh, path and more uh, guidance. These kind of books make my life better. They make me a better leader. And actually, they help me reframe, refocus, and keep going in an exciting, magic way as well. Thank you for being here. Books, ABC. Get books. Any book is good. Of course, make the sources right and uh, 
get into it, start with the page, start with the summary, enjoy, and make it be a better way for you and for yours. Thank you for being here. As always, engage, ask questions, comments. I'm always here, and we'll continue pushing this YouTube podcast series. Thank you so much.